All right. So um, we have uh, multiple clouds available, Microsoft Azure. And uh, as you see, they provide you the same kind of services such as the app services, platform as a service, and virtual machines, basically infrastructure as a service. We have the uh, SQL databases, we have the another Cosmo DB, which is the Azure, we have the managed Kubernetes services provided by the uh, uh, Microsoft Azure. We have the microservices option, which is the Azure functions and uh, azure ai services and on the left side if you see there is like a lot of different uh, categories of the services that uh, microsoft azure is actually offering similarly if you go in the ibm cloud ibm cloud is also offering you a lot of different categories of services and few services are actually uh, so much specialized to that specific cloud and if you look at the AI machine learning, so IBM Watson has the, a lot of different variety of services. Uh, and in that, they are actually specialized and really good in that uh, providing these uh, bot services, which is the IBM Watson, which is quite old, like, like I would say more than like 10 years now. And also, if you see, they are now providing container services, compute services, and compute services normally provide you uh, the virtual machines and VPS hosting and these kind of functions in the and also the blockchain services databases services and these are the common categories that we find in every cloud every major or big cloud that we see similarly on AWS we have a lot of different variety of services available in different categories serverless computation AI ML and uh, there are some other categories as well and uh, we have the computation automation cloud foundation and the compute and blockchain and these kind of all different services they are actually providing uh, almost every cloud is providing those services so few services are managed services and few services are actually uh, unmanaged services uh, so these are the uh, data centers so if you if i mouse over and you see these are the data centers so in our neighboring country we have the data centers two data centers actually over there and in uae we have the data centers and here we have these so our closest data centers are these actually data centers so in us we have multiple data centers the most famous is the ohio data center and uh, most of the applications we need to normally be powered in in europe we have uh, different data centers in paris in london in Ireland as well and also in uh, Stockholm we have the data center which are not currently 18 so we can choose to deploy the application in every data center that we see so let me log in into the uh, AWS console so if you log into AWS console, we see the regions over here. So these are the actually data centers. These are the regions. And uh, in every region, there are actually three availability zones. So it is actually specifying the name of the availability zone that we see over here. There are a few data centers which are actually disabled by default for basically regions, not the data centers. In every region, there are three availability zones, which means every availability zone has a data center right and these availability zones are few kilometers away geographically and that is actually they are taking uh, um, disaster recovery and backups and we can actually choose to deploy the applications in different uh, avail availability zones in a specific re region so when you, whenever we provision a service or and deploy or uh, initiate anything we need to choose the data center first right so infrastructure as a service and the platform as a service. So if we look at the uh, AWS services, first look at that. So there is, I guess I would say a longer list than the other clouds available. There we have the blockchain, compute, container, databases, development tools, and uh, IoT, game development, ML. And if we look at the ML, we have like a lot of different multiple services available in that 
few services are actually managed services and few services are actually uh, we need to actually uh, develop on our own you see build voice and text chatbots so lex is a service which can do that for you so you would really need to don't need to do that anything on that okay so palace by name is there augmented ai so guru and uh, these are different so let's see this is a sage maker that i was talking about the build train and deploy machine learning models so if you have that you can do that you have easily extract text and uh, data from virtually uh, from any document actually okay so we have the uh, uh neural machine translate which is the translate service we have the transcribe service as well okay recognition service is the search and analyze the images which is for the image processing okay so is pe hamare paas ai ke kuch log hain is class mein isliye main zara machine learning aur ai ki cheezein zara discuss kar raha hu you can go and discover and read about those services look at the costing of those services and so on so you can do that you can develop application on the top of those services <coughs> anyways so we have the media services and the satellite services as well you know and we have the storage as well security identity and robotics and iot and these kind of services so in in processor as a service we go in a compute and in compute we have ec2 which are actually virtual servers in the cloud which are actually the infrastructure as a service Classic Game Stack is done and managed web apps, which means it is a platform as a service. So Lambda is the run code without thinking about server. Like you don't need to worry about the server. Which server run will run? Where will it run? These are just small functions that we can run. Lightsail is also a platform as a service where we can launch and manage virtual uh, private servers. And uh, then we have the outposts and the serverless application for streams and so on. So EC2 is the infrastructure as a service where we can actually provision and uh, get the virtual machines from the cloud. So they call it as an instance. So every virtual machine is the instance that the that we can provision. And we can see. So right now I have one uh, uh, virtual machine which is running. I can launch my new virtual machine. And uh, from that I. can actually select the uh, os of my type i select the compute just give us virtual machine ko run hona theek hai and uh, i can choose and i have like a lot of variety of that actually you see i can have as much big compute as i want like not unlimited but look at this that we have the 48 bits of cpus and we have 384 gb of Uh, memory so that kind of bigger machine can be actually provisioned from the aws although its cost is per hour which is around 5 dollars per hour so but the thing is that whenever you provision the machine and when you launch the machine it will start billing when you stop the machine it will uh, stop the billing right so it is actually pay as you go I will provide you some uh, demo videos where I can actually launch and access the virtual machine uh, on AWS. So Elastic Beanstack is a platform as a service where we just need to provide our source code, and based on our source code, we actually create the application. And at the back end, it will actually provision all the resources. So I just need to choose the platform. किस टेक्नोलॉजी में एप्लीकेशन डेवलप हुई है ठीक है तो वैसे नोट जेस प्रोविजन प्लेटफॉर्म पी एच पी सो आई कैन चूज पी एच पी एंड एन बैक एंड जो मशीन प्रोविजन होगी उसका आगे इंफॉर्मेशन ठीक है एंड आई कैन अपलोड द कोड इफ आई वॉन्ट टू डू दैट पब्लिक एस टी से या लोकल फाइल सिस्टम से मैं उसको अपलोड कर सकता हूँ ठीक है and then i can actually launch uh, and create the uh, uh i can launch uh, my application using platform as a service which is the elastic bean stack elastic bean stack is actually auto scale which means that the traffic increase will be depending upon the threshold that i define 
दिस एप्लीकेशन विल ऑटो स्केल ठीक है तो ये दो चीजें जो है वो अभी हम जो थ्योरेटिकली डिस्कस कर रहे थे एक्चुअली ठीक है तो जितना हम इसको यूज करेंगे उस हिसाब से उसकी जो है वो कॉस्टिंग होगी जैसे ईसी टू जो है वो एंड यू कैन आल्सो डू द मॉनिटरिंग एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ फ्यू थिंग्स ओवर हियर फ्रॉम द क्लाउड सो इफ आई सेलेक्ट दिस मशीन रनिंग सो इट हैज अ पब्लिक आईपी इट हैज अ प्राइवेट आईपी एंड इट हैज अ डीएनएस इट्स द पब्लिक डीएनएस इससे हम application जो है access करते हैं this is the monitoring about the different aspects of this virtual machine let's say uh, disk I/O क्या है CPU utilization क्या है network bandwidth क्या है कितनी in or out हो रही है then security perspective है कि इसके अंदर जो हमने roles define किए हैं वो कौन से roles हैं storage कौन सी attached है कितनी storage attached है ठीक है storage अगर और add करनी है वो हम add कर सकते हैं ठीक है और के अंदर हमारे पास नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी है जैसे वीपीसी है विशेष प्राइवेट क्लाउड एंड देन उसके अंदर हमारे पास सबनेट्स हैं आईडी है और सबनेट के अंदर जो है ये विशेष मशीन एक्चुअली हमारे पास जब भी हम एक इनिशियल बिल्कुल इनिशियल लेवल पे जब भी कोई चीज so initial जो हमारे पास चीज होती है वो कुछ किस तरह से होती है show you I guess that is a bit so we and in a region we have a virtual private cloud and that virtual private cloud can be like can be available across the different availability zones because they are actually networked together तेन उसके अंदर हमारे पास सबनेट्स होते हैं ठीक है और उन सबनेट्स के अंदर हम एक्चुअली रिसोर्स को प्रोविजन करते हैं ठीक है सो एक डिफॉल्ट वीपीसी हमेशा होता है हमारे अकाउंट में जब भी हम लॉग इन करते हैं ठीक है बट वी कैन क्रिएट ए कम्प्लेक्स नेटवर्क इफ वी वांट एंड वी डिसाइड कि किन रिसोर्स को किन जगहों पर प्रोविजन करना है जस्ट लाइक दिस Here we have a VPC, we have a public subnet, we have a private subnet, and we have different servers in the private subnet. And private subnet would be communicating through the public subnet through the NAT gateway. Okay, and internet gateway would be used so that the traffic coming to that specific region to my VPC uh, would come over here, and then public subnets will be getting traffic. Okay, and then I can define all that that networking on the cloud. Okay. तो इस तरह से जो है वो हम ये सारे नेटवर्क यूज करते हैं तो आपको यहाँ पे जो वी पी सी नजर आ रहा है तो वेचर प्राइवेट क्लाउड होता है उसके अंदर हम लोग नॉर्मली अपने एप्लीकेशन को लॉन्च करते हैं ठीक है एनी क्वेश्चन जी ये नहीं ऑप्शन स्टॉप करना है रीबूट करना है टर्मिनेट करना है टर्मिनेट आई विल लूज एवरीथिंग मैंने टर्मिनेट दी इंस्टेंस स्टॉप में चलता हुआ बंद हो जाएगा मशीन आपकी स्टॉप हो जाएगी ठीक है तो जब आपने यूज करना है आप इसको स्टार्ट कर लें जब नहीं यूज करना है तो स्टॉप कर दें ठीक है जैसे आप कुछ एक्सपेरिमेंट ठीक है अब आप फजूल में उसको रन नहीं करना चाहते हर वक्त आप कुछ We we'll just stop that and then start again. Okay.